my friends. We're back on Gravity 2, your coach, Mr. Magnifico. We're the second part of Module 4, Lesson 14. Let me change the color green. I think I like this purple one. Okay, so now that we understand where we are, we are going to select my favorite pen. So here we go. Let's read the problem. Sarah has a photography photography blog. Three sevenths of her photos are nature. Okay, so let's let's show that. That one is only giving us information. So let's create a picture of what she's telling us. So that's information that we have. And it says that three seventh, three seventh of those pictures are nature pictures. So we're gonna label it nature. So we're gonna show it on this chart. So now that's seven. So let's do seven, six parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven parts. And three of them are shaded. So we're gonna do one, two, and three shaded. Okay, now. So those, these are three sevenths, and this is nature. Okay, now, the problem says one-fourth of the rest are of her friends. See, if I understand this clearly, what is saying, what, whatever is left, which is four sevenths, that is pictures of her friends. So let me label this uh, four seven. These are friends. And you know what? Let me label this nature just to make sure I got this correct. So now if you add those up, that will give you a whole number. So that's what we have there. So now the question is, my friends, what fraction of all of Sarah's photos is of her friends? And it says that one four of them. So here's how you set this problem up. It says one fourth of the remainder. So what is the remainder? If you look at this right here, the remainder is this one right here, the four sevenths. So let's label that one fourth of four sevenths. And that's going to give us the answer to see how many friends. So again, if you know this is a multiplication, 1 times 4 equals 4, 4 times 7 equals 28. Now we know that, let me uh, re review something. To find out which one is the, the, mo the common factor that they have, the highest common factor, this is what you do. You grab the 4, and then you look, get the denominator, and then you find the common factors. This one is times 1 times 4, and 2 times 2 equals 4. That's it. This one is 1 times 28 equals 28. 2 times 14 equals that number. And then 4 times 7 equals, 4 times 7 equals 28. Now, I think we can stop right there. Why? Because we're finding that these, these have common factors. We have four, I mean one and one, two and two, and also four and four. So four is the highest common factor. And this, you do this, so we can simplify this fraction. So now we know that we can divide both of the numbers by four. And the answer is four divided by four equals one, and 28 divided by four equals seven. So here is the answer that we were looking for. It says, how many of these friends are, um, four sevenths are friends? And we discovered that is how many? Uh, one seventh. Now, if we had to show that on the picture, then we have to do it only with this sign here, my friends. So if this is four seven, and we're gonna find one fourth. So we're supposed to divide this into fours. One, two, three, four. And we're supposed to show one fourth only. So one fourth will be, let me see, one fourth will be this one right here. Okay. 
So then your answer will be out of this whole, the whole area, we have 28 of them. You count them all the 28. And where they overlap right here, it will be four of them. One, two, three, four. Let me use a different color. This will be one, two, three, four. That's where the four comes from. So that's, that was um, four twenty-eight, And then we simplify it. So now we know that one-fourth of the fourth seventh friends is one-seventh. My friends, this is a marvelous story to solve, and it's a really good one to understand these kind of mathematical expressions. Please watch my videos. You will find a genius in you, and you will find out that this is, after all, something you can do all the time. Signing out from Gravity 2, your coach, Magnifico.